Hi guys, welcome to my video. My name is Rahma, and in this video, I'm going to talking about how to deal with long distance relationships. Uh, I've been in long distance relationships with my boyfriend, and sometimes we were struggling with bad things so oh no uh today in this video i'm going to give you eight tips to deal with long distance relationships this long distance is killing me For people who in long distance relationship is more complex than a normal couple because communication is already hard enough for a normal couple and it's getting harder for couple who in long distance relationships. Mostly people who in long distance relationship having a problem like time differences or schedules differences. Some people might think distance means so little when someone means so much for us, but <laughs> I don't think that's true because distance has a big ability to break bonds, to break trust. Yeah, so long distance relationship is more complex than normal couple. Always communication. Communication is very very important because it's already hard enough for a normal couple to communication and it's getting harder for couple who in long distance relationships because their uh, time differences or schedule differences. For example, one morning my boyfriend have to go to work and I don't have morning class so I don't have to go to the college and I can text him like usual because he must be very busy with his job but we can still text one or two times to let each other know how the situation because no matter how busy you are communication is very important you guys should let each other know how the situation that you are the one who busy or he's the one who busy because communication is very important to know and if you lost communication it can break bonds or break trust stop negative thinking life is very unpredictable like sometimes things comes up unpredictable is it a good things or bad things when, when bad things comes up like work issue or family issue or illness those things can interrupt your mindset to be negative and don't ever to try to blame your negative thinking to your relationships because it can be a damage to your relationships when we're under pressure we always negative thinking and we're always like everything's positive will be seems like negative but don't ever try to blame your negative thinking to your relationships. Sharing. Sharing is care. Like, you must share every little moment of your day to him, such things like happy moments or bad moments, because uh it can make your relationships more intense when you guys sharing your moments together
build trust. Trust is the foundation of relationships. You must be honest to him no matter what. Because when you are in love with him, you must trust to the person who you with no matter what. Well, hmm, sometimes it's okay to feel insecure like I do feel insecure like my boyfriend is a videographer and a photographer and when he has to video shoot or photo shoot sometimes my head is like oh my god he will he not oh, he gonna see some cute girls who are really thin or he gonna see uh, some hot girls or sexy girls but I always say to myself he won't cheating on me because he accepting me like the way I look right now and he won't do that so sometimes feeling secure is it's okay but it's not a good thing so you should no you must to get rid of that thoughts about being insecure because when he accepting you the way you look right now so he won't do that thing make time to visit each other when you guys make a plan to visit each other make sure you have many plans to do with him like you are going to date or dinner dates or movie dates or yeah things that you both things that it will be the best thing in your life in in your day so having a quality time is the best things for long distance relationships because uh, some people who in long distance relationships it's really hard to find the right time to visit each other make confession like you tell him or you confess to him uh, things that make you uncomfortable or things that bothering you or things that you didn't like about him so he will understand and with confession you guys can fix each other problems and make things better than before try to make a commitment when you guys uh, made a decision to have a commitment with the person you with it means you guys uh, trying to make your relationships better than before because commitment is a good idea to make everything better uh, remember one thing when you have a commitment with the person you with you must stick to your words no matter what, you should stick to your words. Support each other. Like when your guy is in bad situation or bad things comes up or you guys or one of you guys in uh bad condition you guys should supporting each other like yeah if you guys can't visit each other when you guys in bad condition you can have a video call or free call or just texting tell him that or tell her that everything is going to be okay and don't worry or tell him that 
you'll always be here for him no matter what. So supporting is very important too because it can build a good communication too and we're back to point number one everything is going back to number one because number one is communication and that's all for me and the tips for people who in long distance relationships hope you guys have a good day